maximum four, four digits for it. So if it is less, if it is more than four, you cannot put it in the grid. So what are you going to do? You can add or you can you can answer or the students must answer it by decimal point, mixed fraction is not allowed, fraction or whole number. Okay. More than four digits in a decimal point cannot. Mixed fraction cannot. You understand? Because we are only have four in the first row. Now, the corresponding numbers for each row have to be shaded by the students. Example, if the correct answer is one and one fourth, if you are going to put that as one, one slash four, the computer will read it as 11 over 4. You understand? Okay. 1 and 1 4 is not allowed to put in a repeat in answer sheet. 1 and 1 4 either, 1 and a quarter, you have to convert it into 1 in proper fraction or decimal. Any question? Okay. Then the corresponding number has to be shaded. There is a slash, there is a point, and there is a number. So in this case, one and one fourth or one and quarter, then we need the number as 1.25 or 5 over 4, either decimal or mixed fraction or improper fraction. Do you have any problem with this? So each grid has this four. Four of this. This is an example of the grid. I'm running because I have a time time uh, time limit for this. One hour according to this. All of these are good. The, the column doesn't, doesn't represent of 10, 20s, or 100, or 100, no, that's not. Only of these two. So it doesn't mean, okay, this is, doesn't mean that the first row is for the ones, for 10, or this number is ones, 10, Hundred or thousand doesn't matter. Okay, there is no particular order. Either you can have it one point twenty five or this is one point twenty five or five over four or another way five over four is the same. The computer must the computer will read it as it is. Then what is funny in this is that even if you put this number here, the computer will only read this. If you don't shade this, it's okay. And if you shake this, the computer will also read as this. Do you understand? Okay. So all of these are correct answer for your list. Okay. It is recommended, true, that was not required, that you write your answer in boxes at the top of the column. Even if you don't write it, it's okay. But don't, do not practice them on this carelessness. Let them answer it properly. Because we don't know sometimes that the computer will not going to be there. There's a technical error. So all of us must practice and be aware that all of our students must answer these three problems or answer this three in a correct manner. Shape, answer it on top, and then shape all the numbers. Green only answers or green only can 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 uh, can can only accept one answer or one answer rather. If there is a lot of answers for the green, the computer will only read one correct answer. Dark end, no more than one oval per column. This is very easy. So if there is one, shade one. Two, shape two. No, 
no answers are negative. Okay? Any question? Okay. As I said, mixed number is not allowed in the field problem. Okay. It is also most important. Okay. Decimal must be entered accurately. Okay. Look at this example. If you take an answer which is equal to 0 0.166, disregard 0, carry the decimal point, and have only three, okay, three numbers to be entered. Because we only have four, right? Four numbers. Okay. Zero is disregarded. So you have point one six six or point one six seven. Our students must not be okay. Let us not practice this this to our students of rounding off, especially the the decimal part of our mathematics topic. Okay. Could be one point six or point one six seven. Let's Okay. One six point one six six or point one six seven will be acceptable. This is the summary. Your answer must have at most four characters including the decimal point or fraction bar. The big cannot accommodate negative numbers or mixed numbers or numbers greater than 9,999. A fraction number with four digits won't fit. A fraction number, mixed numbers must be changed to decimal or fraction before you leave. Decimals must be as complete as possible for no or fitted decimals. Many questions may have more than one correct answer and you will only get credit for filling in the overalls correctly. Okay, I'm going to give you some exercises for this The handout is coming soon. Okay. So, let us answer this problem first. There are 12 men and 24 women in the forum. You know what the forum is, right? Okay. What percent of the entire forum is composed of women? Okay. There are how many women? 24. There are 12 men. So this is the percentage problem. So what is the percentage of women in the entire chorus? Okay, so easy question, right? So you need to either do not put the 66%, but you still you have to do what is it? You have to do it 66.6 or 66.7. Okay, do not fill all the four, four uh, in the grid, do not fill all, all the four uh, cells in the grid, if it is only three. If it is a whole number, 164, just 164. Do not fill out all the four. But if there are more than four digits, or there are more, more than four answers for this grid, you have to choose only a maximum of four, including the decimal point and the slash. Now, before we go to our exercises in the beginning, I want to continue this by the second part, which is the multiple choice. Multiple choice question increases, exercise test, monthly test, always use a 25 minutes time limit or 10 to 20 questions. For you to be able to have an effective okay, dreaming of the students in mind, let us I mean, I'm just, I'm just giving you this um, uh, suggestions or recommendations for your exam. But still, the teacher must have the 
have the right to do anything they want as long as they are following this SAT format. So, quizzes and math exercises, I think we have a maximum of 30 minutes for each class, right? So, you can have 25 minutes. Okay, in mathematics, you need to have 10 to 20 questions. By the way, all of the topics are involved, are, all of the topics are included in SAT. Arithmetic, fraction, percentage, speed, uh, area, and so on and so forth. Geometry, algebra, and arithmetic problems. So that is all included. Geometry, let's start with an example of geometry. Make it a habit for our students to always solve the geometry problems. Always draw a diagram. Okay. Because there are some geometry problems that they don't give a diagram. But make it a habit for our students to let them know how to draw the diagram in geometry problems. First, in tactics 1 to 17, which is covered by the SAT, the first four topics, okay, the first four tactics deals with geometry and other problems in math. There are questions with no given diagram. So all you have to do is to design a problem or a math question with no diagram. Later I will give you an example. There are also some problems in mathematics in SAT that that is the diagram drawn not to scale or to scale. Okay, these three or this first four. Okay, first questions with no diagram. Questions with no diagram. Second, diagram drawn to scale. Third is diagram not in scale. And fourth, add line to the diagram to solve all of these kinds of problems. Am I getting that wrong? Okay. First, first tactic or first uh, suggestion: design questions with no given diagram. Some, some questions. What I'm going to discuss with you are some, some tips or some tactics that you have to understand when doing the 